What are we doing? Okay, gotta get stoked. You've been stoked all morning. <laughs> Welcome. This is an episode I am super excited about. We're going to be testing old, weird hangers. Something I'm super interested in, and I know a few of you are interested in it as well. It's stuff you might come across of on a climb. It's not the stuff that's being put in anymore, but it makes you wonder, is that going to hold me? So what's the first one? SMC Death Hangers. I don't know if anybody actually died. They <laughs> were victim to fast corrosion, so they stopped making them. This is one that I know for a fact was installed in 1978, and I took it off uh, in 2022, so it was on the wall for 44 years. This is one that has been sitting in somebody's closet. <laughs> Broke like a hanger. Uh, there is a piece missing there. Super consistent. Very consistent. Let's see what the new ones break at. SMC Death Hanger, new old stock. These have not been exposed to the elements. That's exactly the same result as we've got on the other two. Just in case you were thinking we were showing you the same footage over and over again. This is a SMC hanger, not the death hanger. They have a vertical logo and they are thicker and some variety of stainless steel. They're, they're, this corrosion here is mostly from the bolt, which was bad, so I removed it. Generally, thicker material means stronger. Three to four kilonewtons stronger than we were getting on SMC death hangers. Um, this has a vertical logo. Um, based on stuff we've broken before, my guess is this is some type of stainless um, because we see very stretchy results. I am very skeptical that this is stainless because it didn't stretch as much and it a chunk broke off like we were seeing on the smc death it is slightly thicker the logo is a different orientation but i do not think this is stainless <laughs> whoa so that's our lowest result with these smc hangers That stretched quite a lot. It's debating whether to test it again or not. Um, but I think this solved my problem for me because I can't uh, easily get that out. This is so narrow now, it's hard to clip stuff into. So I'm gonna say it, it failed. These, I believe were the first readily commercially available stainless steel hanger. Uh, these are Metolius. I've always thought they were 304, though I don't know for sure. There's a lot of these that I've removed that were on bolts that were just rusting out of the rock. Personally, do they make them anymore? Uh, they do make, a, Metolius still makes hangers, they're not exactly this. Personally, uh, absent any testing, uh, I believe they're perfectly fine. So I've been reusing them. We'll, we'll find see out. after today. <laughs> Very bent out of shape, like stainless. Very little corrosion, despite being in the rock for 30 years, maybe, maybe more. 27.69 kilonewtons, which I believe is perfectly acceptable for a modern hanger.
These bolts went through my house fire when all my yes. stuff burned. These are Climtech bolts, 304 stainless. They were new. Okay, they just um, been through your fire. Yeah, they were sitting in my collection of gear, which I have salvaged a like a five gallon bucket full of stuff that was new, go, that was going to go out on routes. It's now rusting in a bucket. Uh, it looks like the corrosion resistance, at least on the surface layer, has been damaged. I am doubtful that the strength has been damaged by the heat. Spots of the fire um, got to 1800, 2000 degrees because I had uh, silver melting, like the silver in my safe started melting. <laughs> in your fireproof safe. In my fireproof <laughs> safe. <laughs>
yeah, I mean, you can make your hanger as strong as you want, but if you don't make the hole big enough to fit a strong bolt in there, um, I don't know what to tell you. These are labeled Mahmood. Um, I don't know anything more about them than that. I assume they're made by Mahmood, Mahmood <laughs> uh, who makes uh, lots of cool clothing and ropes and stuff. Now, they look very old. They could be stainless. They have marks here like they came off of a bolt. I believe uh, Chris Williams sent these to us. The way it broke leads me to believe it's probably not stainless. Slightly different result. These are some new old stock Petzl uh, aluminum hangers, which I think are cool. What's wrong with aluminum hangers? They are lighter for those who have to install them. They experience weird corrosion when left out. Is it because this, that it's mixed with a steel, or is it because it's left outside? Um, you know, I'm not a metal, uh, metallurgist. Metallurgists are super rare. I've only seen these ones, yeah. so I've never seen one in the wild. Wild. Um, and this is old enough to have a uh, rating in kilograms versus kilonewtons. Keep in mind that kilogram is a measurement of mass and kilonewtons is a measurement of force. Slightly over the converted MPS of 1800 kilograms. It is interesting how many ways you can bend a piece of metal after punching two holes in it, which is basically what a hanger is. This is more or less a hanger that hasn't been bent yet. Uh, it looks more or less like this when it is bent. We do have a thing on our website called Send Us Your Stuff. You can submit what gear you have and send it to us in picture form. And we'll tell you if that's something that would be interesting for a lot of people to see. And we could possibly break that. Yeah. Of course, we don't have infinite time and resources, so I have to or be enough at all about that. <laughs> if you like this style of video where we talk about each one, break it, and then talk about the next, let me know in the comments. Hit the thing that looks like this. Please subscribe. See you later.